Okay, so someone had a question about a video that I did a while back on uh, lag and LACP interfaces in PFSense. And they basically wanted to know, after you get the lag set up, how do you move the LAN interface over to the lag in order to take advantage of the increased reliability and bandwidth? And it's a great question. And um, it's actually pretty easy to do. It's pretty straightforward. But um, there are a couple things to remember and consider when you are going to do that. Um, NetGate does not recommend passing untagged traffic on the same lag that also has tagged traffic. So um, most of the time, if you go to the LAN interface, which is one of the uh, uh, default interfaces that, that PFSense will have when you first install is it is not part of a VLAN. It's just untagged traffic. And uh, so, you know, going from an, an interface that is untagged and trying to put that on a lag, which NetGate doesn't really recommend, um, you can get around that by actually creating a VLAN for your LAN interface and assigning the VLAN to the lag and then you handle the uh, tagged traffic on the switch side, okay? So your, your lag interface will also have the tagged LAN interface associated to it. And then um, from there, you can program the switch to uh, you know, associate the certain ports that you want untagged uh, on, that same, um, on that same VLAN, okay? So um, basically what you do is, I, I don't have the same instance that I did the video on, but it doesn't really matter. If we go to the lag interfaces here, we, we see I have one lag interface. It just has one parent interface because this doesn't really matter. Um, but it's an LACP protocol and this is all virtual machines and stuff. So it's not really physically connected to anything. But uh, you'll notice if you go to um, VLANs, um, you can create uh, a VLAN with the parent interface of the lag, all right? So I actually already have two right here that are already assigned to lag zero, but uh, you can go here, lag zero, pick whatever new VLAN that you want your uh, your LAN traffic on PFSense to use. And let's just say we want VLAN 10. And we can call this, you know, LAN interface tagged. And uh, then we'll go to the assignments page here. And right now the LAN interface is basically untagged and it's also listening just on a uh, a physical network adapter by itself pretty much. All right. So what we want to do is take advantage of the lag and um, select VLAN 10 on lag zero. Now, if I select this and click save, then I'm going to lose access to my, uh, my interface here, my web GUI, because I don't actually have a way to to talk to the uh, LACP lag that I have set up over here. Okay, it's fake basically, um, but that's how you would change it. And uh, you know the the LAN interface itself, this IP address and everything would still be accessible once you configure your client that you're talking to PFSense with. Once you configure the client. Um, like the the ports that your client's connected to and the switch to actually allow that traffic to become tagged on the LACP trunk. Um, once you do that, you would be able to uh, communicate. So what you may want to do is actually use a different interface and try it out first to make sure that it's going to work before you actually change it and click save. That way you don't get locked out of your PFSense GUI or make sure that your firewall rules allow 
GUI access from other VLANs that you may already have set up and, and running on the, uh, on the LACP trunk and the lag interface. That way, if you do make a mistake, you can still get to it uh, on a different IP address. So that is basically it. Um, it's very possible to do that. Um, uh, the LAN interface and untagged traffic is just a, a, a pretty, pretty common practice to have um, at least one untagged interface um, that is kind of like your default VLAN, so to speak. And um, you, you, can, you can move that over. And the same thing applies for moving the LAN interface, not only to a lag, but uh, you could also do the same thing for um, changing the interface over to um, either a different, um, a different interface or fiber module, whatever it happens to be. You would basically just make sure that under assignments, you're selecting the correct adapter here. All right. Um, if you didn't care that the untagged traffic was also going to be on the same interface as tagged traffic, which I personally have really never had a problem with that. Um, I'm not sure why that's not recommended, but, um, but it's not, but I've done it with no problems. If you don't want to really worry about the VLANs, um, on the switch side, you could just choose lag zero here. Uh, which doesn't have a VLAN reference. So that basically means it's not it's not on a VLAN. It's not uh, tagged traffic. And you could just leave it like that. And basically the untagged LAN traffic is now going to flow over to the, uh, to, to the lag interface. And um, like I said, I've done that before and I've never had any problems, but uh, someone commented and said, you know, NetGate recommends not doing that and uh they they posted the reference to the to the documentation and, and they're right I, I don't know why but they don't really recommend having tagged and untagged traffic on the same lag but feel free to experiment and uh you know maybe you could also use it and have no problems with it just like i've done in the past but uh just be careful and make sure you have a different way of getting into your web gui just in case something does go wrong uh, you don't get locked out of your your PFSense instance. You could always go to the console and just you know basically reset the interface if you if you needed to, but uh, um, it's best to not have to do that. It takes less time just to do it the right way. All right, I think that pretty much answers the question of how to move the LAN interface over to a lag and. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for the comments.